Christ is in our midst. Welcome to Spiritual Calisthenics. Today, on July 9th, we commemorate the Holy Higher Martyr, Pancratius, Bishop of Romanium in Sicily, St. Dionysius the Orator, St. Mitrophanes of Mount Athos, and St. Methodius the Higher Martyr, Bishop of Lampus. Regarding the Holy Higher Martyr, Pancratius, Bishop of Tormina, the saint lived in the time of the Lord and the Holy Apostles and was from Antioch. Hearing about the miracles of Christ, the parents of Pancratius desired to see the Lord Jesus. Together with Pancratius, they traveled to Jerusalem where they saw Jesus, heard his words, and witnessed his miracles. It was in Jerusalem that Pancratius became acquainted with the Apostle Peter. After the ascension of the Lord, both parents and Pancratius were baptized in Antioch. After his parents died, the saint abandoned all worldly things and went to the area of the Black Sea. Pancratius withdrew to a cave in Pontus where the Apostle Peter found him, and together they returned to Antioch. And from Antioch they went to the area of Sicilia. There they encountered the Apostle Paul, and he was also appointed Bishop of Tormina in Sicily. Crescens was also appointed Bishop of Galatia, and Marcion was appointed Bishop of Syracuse at this time. From there he boarded the ship of the Acondus and Romulus and went to Tormina. In Tormina, Pancratius worked many miracles, destroyed the idols, baptized the unbaptized, strengthened the baptized, governed well the Church of God, and had a church built within thirty days. A heathen commander by the name of Aquilinus heard that the entire city of Tormina became Christian and sent out with an entire army against the city in order to destroy it. Bishop Pancratius encountered the faith, encouraged the faithful not to be afraid, and he alone with the clergy went outside the city carrying in his hands the invincible weapon, the Honorable Cross. When the army approached the city, darkness fell upon them, and the soldiers were overcome with great fear. A great confusion then began among them, and the attackers turned against one another, and pierced and slaughtered each other with their swords. Thus Pancratius, the chosen one of God, saved the city and his flock by the power of his prayer before the Lord. Though Pancratius rid the city of paganism, certain followers of, Mon of monetism remained in the city, and they opposed Bishop Pancratius. Wanting to get rid of him, they took a certain general named Artagalus and killed the holy hierarch of Christ by stoning, though icons depict him either being beheaded or strangled. In this way he departed to the Lord and received from him the crown of martyrdom. St. Pancratius is also commemorated on February 9th. Portions of his relics can be found in Rome and Mount Athos. St. Pancratius or Pancras of Tormina should not be confused with St. Pancras of Rome, a 14-year-old lad who was martyred by being beheaded around the year 304. O follower and chief of the chief apostle, you were clothed with divine power from on high. Your sacred vestments were dyed with the streams of your blood. O Father Pancratius, pray to Christ our God that he save our souls. You were a martyr for Christ, O Pancratius, and a bright star for the people of Tormina. Intercede for those who venerate you, for you ever stand in his presence. From the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans, Brethren, you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Let not sin, therefore, reign in your mortal bodies to make you obey their passions. Do not yield your members to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but yield yourself to God as men who have been brought from death to life, and your members to God as instruments of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. What then? Are we to sin because we are not under the law but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you yield yourself to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you were once slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the standard of teaching to which you were committed. In other words, just as Christ said in another place of the Gospel of Matthew, you cannot serve both mammon and God. That is why we call ourselves luli, servants. We are servants of God, and we yoke ourselves to him, to his law of grace, so that we may not sin, so that we may not become slaves of sin, but slaves of righteousness, that we too can rule over our passions. The Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, when Jesus entered Peter's house, he saw his mother-in-law lying sick with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she rose and served him. That evening they brought to him many who were possessed with demons, and he cast out the spirits with a, with a word, and healed who all who were sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. 
Now when Jesus saw great crowds around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. And a scribe came up to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. The Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their own dead. When he entered the boat, his disciples followed him. In other words, the word of God goes where it must. And he needs to be our priority. He is life. Let us leave the things that are dead. Not literally our parents, but let us go from death to life, to the new life that is in us. That is what St. Paul is trying to convey to us in his epistle to the Romans. And that is what Saint, our Lord and Savior is telling us here, that we must be willing to go where we must go that we can serve Christ and become like him, full of life. I hope you've enjoyed today's spiritual calisthenics. Have a blessed and wonderful day.